Hey everybody, I am sure most of you have heard the great news by now. We have another fabulous player joining the European League of Football, Kazim Erebali. Welcome to the European League of Football. How's it going? Thanks for having me, guys. And well, the switch up, I was not expecting it because we just talked German and then I forgot, oh yeah, we're doing this interview in English. So Well, I'm, we are a European League, so you're right, we you're right. are international. <laughs> How excited are you about coming back to Europe, coming back to Hamburg, which is the city where your career actually began? Because you'll be playing for the Hamburg Sea Devils. Right. I'm beyond excited, okay? I mean, uh, Commissioner Izume, I always want to say coach, but it's Commissioner Izume. He hit me up uh, a lot of months ago and kind of gave me that idea. And I was like, ah, I don't know. But um, this whole thing with football bromance that we did, there's so much, so much energy that's that's in Germany. Like just watching football, it's amazing. So I really want to come back and just, you know, I'm just excited to be back home. Are you already in Germany? I'm not. Right now, I'm in Miami, Florida. Uh, you know, my, my wife was just like, "Huh, what you doing there?" But it's because I have a really good uh, guy out here who I'm training with. So I'm just trying to get right and just get ready for the season. And is your family coming to Germany as well with you? Absolutely. You know, we've been we've been looking at houses for uh, a couple of weeks now, and uh, you know, I've been I've been telling her where the, where the spots are, and, and my wife doing all that, you know, asking me all the questions like, "What is the river bond?" I'm like, "Ah, don't worry about it. We're not gonna go there." And, uh, <laughs> well, you're not gonna go there, but I may. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it, it's just great because um, I can finally show my family where where I grew up. So what made you choose the European League of Football over any other league? And what potential do you see in it? Obviously, just because my good friend is the commissioner of the league. And uh, he, he, did a, he did a great job just kind of just breaking it down, what the vision is, what, what, he, what his plans are. And, um, you know, right now I'm at a point where I, I was about to retire. You know, last year I said it's going to be my last year trying to play in the NFL. COVID happened. I didn't get no calls. So I was ready to move forward for for next for the next thing, and um, but I feel like it, it only would make sense to really end it to where it all started, you know, give back, you know, teach these guys something, talk to the coaches, and, and just enjoy the game of football because at the end of the day, without football, I would have never got my education, I would have never met my family. So it's just I just want to give back as much as I can. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we can't wait to have you back. So you are a former NFL player. Would you say that the European League of Football can be seen as a platform for young players before, but also for experienced players after their career uh, at the NFL? Absolutely. I, I really think what's going to be so great about the league is, you know, guys like me who are old and washed up, you know, that can come in and you got the young guys, you know, maybe... 18, 19, they're just coming up and are super talented. And it's just everybody's like a little melting pot of, of, of young talent, old talent, but everybody talented. And that just will elevate everybody's game. And I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to be part of it. So what can we expect from you and your team in season one and beyond? Okay, I, you know, I've been on the team for like 24 hours, so I, I can't speak <laughs> for everybody yet. But obviously I have my goals. I have goals for myself. I have goals for my teammates. And I think at the end of the day is really just elevate everything I'm, 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 I'm doing, you know, like elevate the game of my, of my teammates. That's going to be very important because now they have somebody, you know, who, who played with the Von Millers, who played with the Cam Jordans, and I can show him and show him some things. Maybe somebody in Germany couldn't, and just with the coaches, just talk about the X and O's of football plays, defenses, maybe how to take offenses and just entertaining the fans. Cause at the end of the day, you know, it's all about the fans and trust me, I've been part of, I think eight or nine NFL teams, but just the fandom and, and the hype that's, that's in Germany is it, special. Like I seen it in a couple of NFL teams. So I'm so excited to come back. And as you are such an experienced player, would you say that you can help your team and the whole league to develop? Absolutely. And, you know, I, I try to, obviously, I'm going to do everything I can for my teammates and the Sea Devils. 
But even beyond that, um, I, I got a couple things I'm trying to set up already just, just to make everybody better. You know, obviously I would want to win the championship with, with the Sea Devils, but at the end of the day, I really want to help everybody in the league. And I just want to help football Germany and football in Europe in general because there's so much talent. And the last couple of years, you've really been seeing it because there's so many European and international guys at American colleges entering the draft. And, uh, you know, that's amazing. Have you picked a number yet? I think I was going to go, you know what? Let me tell you. All right. <laughs> so in Germany, when I was number one, well, I don't want to be number one, but in college, I was number 91. And my first uh, three years with the Saints and with the Broncos, I was 91. So that number is very close to my heart. So I'll probably be 91 again. Okay. Well, fingers crossed for that. It would be a very nice lucky charm. And uh, I have a question from a fan. How many sacks can we expect from you? How many games do we play? Then I can tell you. <laughs> I don't even know how many games. From, we speaking from a fan, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to be out there and just uh, one thing I pride myself on is just to give everything I got every play. So, you know, I'll just be out there and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for some of the matchups and uh, just, just enjoy the game. Yeah. And something else, which is very important. Will you stay a part of the bromance and continue the live streaming? Absolutely. Bjorn just called me. He's like, hey, I got some business ideas. We got to do this. And then can you do that? And then can you do interviews during halftime? I'm like, yeah, I'm playing a game. So, you know, there's definitely a couple of fun things that are going to happen, but I can't say too much right now. No, no, no. But we are curious now. So, Last but not least, is there anything you would like to say to the fans? Man, get your fish brötchen ready, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> forget the popcorn, we don't eat it. Fish brötchen, but in Hamburg, we say fish brötchen, okay? Well, it's yes. going to be amazing. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, again, it's just it's just a love, love for the game. And uh, the one thing that's so special, just growing up with the game, because so, I started playing when I was nine, is it don't matter if you're a fan, a player, a coach, is is really that mutual love that you have for the game that brings everybody together. And that's really what I'm trying to do coming back. I just want to bring everybody together and just in, enjoy football. Yes, that's what we want. So Kazim, thank you so very much for this interview. It was a pleasure speaking with you. And even more, we are so pleased to have you on board. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you got to say Chimadu though. Have you ever heard it? No. Okay. <laughs> Are we doing the outro, outro now? Because I'm ready for the outro. No, no, well, yeah. <laughs> so I say, do you have any last words? And then you have to say, tschö mit ö. What? Tschö mit ö. Ah, tschö mit ö. I'm sorry, it's an inside joke. It's an inside joke. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay, so again, thank you so very much. You guys at home, thanks for watching. And well, we have more interviews coming up. Don't miss them. And as I'm supposed to say now, Terminator. Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>